So we want to be able to compute IM3 of an RF block. Let's say this is an RF block uh, with a voltage gain A. Uh, when you apply Vn, you get V out. And the ideal relationship between V in and V out is V out is A times V in. In practice, because of nonlinearity of this RF block, you get V out is A times V in plus A2 V in a squared plus A3 V in cube and so on. Let's forget about this guy for now. We are focusing on this component. So the idea is if we apply, uh, say, a two tone, so two sinusoidal tones at omega 1 and omega 2 frequencies with let's say for now a power Pn and the same power for the other guy Pn. We know that because of the third order nonlinearity we get a couple of uh, harmonics and uh, nonlinearity nonlinearity. So we get for example two omega one minus omega two omega two minus omega one and we get uh, two omega one minus omega two. Uh, the power of these guys in dB I am three uh, we are interested to be able to compute or approximate the power of this component as a function of Pn and as a function of um, IP3 or third order intercept point of this RF block. What does that mean? So this is Pn input power. This is input. Let's say input power in dB. This is output power in dB. Uh, if it was only an ideal RF block, what we would see would be a linear increase with a tangent with a tangent of one. So one dB increasing input power results in one dB increase in output power. But there is a third order component that you're interested in, and that one is moving like this. So a 1 dB increase in input power results in 3 dB increase in output power. The tangent of this line is 3. Now there is a hypothetical point where this component would intercept with the um, ideal output uh, main harmonic and we, let's say we know that. So let's say we know this point, input referred intercept point of third order um, as shown here in dB. Let's say we apply a Pn, these two tones with a power P in each, and because of that, um, there is a third order inter intermodulation product I am 3 in dB that we are interested to be able to compute and we know this is intercept point of third order the output becomes OIP3 in dB because the, this intercept point happens to be on um, the line with tangent of 1 it's easy to compute here is change delta, so now your delta backed off from the IIP3 point, you're applying Pn, and because the tangent is 3, this d here would be 3 delta. And we are interested in this point, or the y-axis value in dB on this point, so we can just start from top, go down by 3 delta, find this point. Forgetting about the constant scalar, this is delta minus 3 by IP3 dB minus P. So we get 3 Pn minus 2 by IP3 in dB. That's the input referred third order intermodulation product.
and we can also write the same relationship for the output with a version.